Hello, good people of Fourth Presbyterian Church in Louisville, Kentucky. I haven't done one of these videos in a long time, but we have a very important meeting coming up this Sunday. And I wanted to make sure I give you a little bit of a heads up on what to expect so you can be thinking about it this week. So uh, I wanted to give you a little preview. There are a, a few things that we need to accomplish in this meeting. Let me begin by saying we're not reinventing the wheel. What we're doing is trying to get word out that we exist and what it is we do. So that's the number one thing you need to know. We are not going to do this whole planning thing on, on Sunday. It's going to be really pretty tight. Here are the things that I have identified as what we need to accomplish. One, we need to establish the first three events that we want to host where we invite people to be a part of what we're doing here at Fourth. It could be VBS. That could be one of them. It could be we decide to have a food truck Friday. It could be that we decide to have some music festival or something going on. Or we could decide that, uh, what are other ideas? A car show. We could do a car show or anything that would bring people in and maybe meet a community need at the same time. Maybe we could do a blood drive or maybe we could do, you know, anything. Anything that's helpful for our community. We need to identify those first three things that we're going to host. Could be that we decide to go ahead and have a game room and have a game room grand opening. I mean, that could be it where we get the slot cars out, we have the games out and things uh, kind of generated and we uh, invite people to be a part of it. Whatever it is, we need to identify the first three events we're going to host. Here's the second thing we need to identify, the first three events we're going to attend. That is, there are all kinds of community events going on out there in Louisville, particularly this summer. What are the ones that we can attend? What can we be present at with a booth, with a card, with, with uh, kind of table signs to let people know we're apart? When I was at Pride this uh, past Saturday, there were a ton of churches that were represented there. They were present. They were in the community. And now we know they're there. And other people know that they exist and that they're there. That doesn't mean that every last person is going to attend their churches. It just means they're present. So we need to identify three events we're going to be present at, whether it is uh, the September Pride event, which is coming right up, or whether it is, uh, I think, a neighborhood community you know, festival. Snitzelberg, I think, has one every year. Uh, whether it, Well, we could have done uh, what would have been great is to have done the Audubon Park when they had food trucks everywhere. It was gorgeous. It was The Dogwood Festival was incredible. That would have been wonderful. A music festival we could attend. There'll be a ton of them. So what next three events are we going to be present at? and make ourselves seen and known uh, with things we give out and things like that. Anyway, so those are the first two things. Next, we need to identify a webmaster. That is one person who is going to be in charge of our website. We currently don't have one. Uh, I can explain that on Sunday if need be, but we need someone who takes charge of that, commit to a year and say you're gonna set it up, get it arranged, and make sure it's top notch all the time. Uh, two, uh, we need to have somebody who is our community events coordinator. That is. When I said, what events are we going to go to, that person would be the one who is feeding us the information on what's going on in the city that we could possibly attend and kind of helps coordinate the efforts to make those things happen. So that's another person we need to identify. And the last thing is, and this is a little off the beaten path compared to the rest of the things, we need a playground upkeep team. That is a group of three or four people who make sure that the weeds are out of the mulch, that we have fresh mulch in our uh, playground area, uh, that the shed looks good, that the limbs and the vines and the poison ivy are off the fence, uh, that it's just kept up well, that we maybe do some fundraising efforts every once in a while that are coordinated by this team to raise money for, specifically for the playground. Whatever it is, we need a team that maintains our playground so that it is actually something that's fun to be a part of and people are attracted to it and, and it can be used. Um, that's really important. So that's it. Those are the things that we're going to try to identify on Sunday. I will explain more on what it is we'll be doing in kind of a larger game plan. But if you could be thinking of those things, the first three events we will host, the first three events we will go to, if you might be someone who would be our webmaster or our events coordinator or uh, part of a playground um, what upkeep team. That's it. That's what I've got for Sunday. Meal will be served, should be fun. I hope that it is really beneficial and helps us move forward on getting our name out there and what? Gaining an audience, that's what we're trying to do. So anyway, you guys have a great rest of the week. God bless you and go forth in Christ.